So now I need to get delta y. I want to get delta y. Which is what? The approximation or the real thingy? Real thing. Nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in my function because that's my real thing. And my x was equal to 1. And I move the point horizontally by 0 0.01. 0 0.01. And what you're going to do is you're going to put this. Actually, delta, uh, I take that back. OK, give me a minute. Um, actually, you know what? Let me, let me erase this stuff and remember, delta y is a change, OK? It's not the function value. It's the change. So come on, erase, erase. Go away, go away, go away. Okay, so remember what delta y is. Okay, delta y is actually fx plus uh, dx, if you want to call it, minus fx. That's the change in the y value. Okay? So this is going to be f of 1 plus 0 0.01 uh, minus f of 1. Sorry? That's the approximation. Which slide? Yeah, this should be my bad. This should be dy. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Delta Y, I'm just kind of showing you right there. Okay. <coughs> Sorry? Yeah, that's DY there. That's DY. Oh, because then it's... Yeah, that's an approximation. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so f of 1.0, uh, f of 1 plus 0 0.01, so that's going to be 1.01 .01 squared. Everybody with me on that? Minus 1 squared. Well, isn't f of x equal to x squared? Isn't that what it is? Isn't it? Right? Okay. So can someone get a calculator out and do this for me? Remember that our approximation was this, OK? That's our approximation. It's 0 0.02, 0 .02 0 1. 0 .01. So this is my exact change, OK? So this is my delta y. Compare that to my approximation. Wouldn't you say that's pretty good? Yeah. With how much easier calculation there? Compared to, now this, this calculation is not too difficult because it's x squared. Okay, what if it was something like cosine x plus one half sine x? You can see how much more difficult it would be to find the change in the function. Okay, as compared to doing this formula here. Everybody got that? Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because the asterisk, okay. So remember the asterisk equation is telling you that instead of using this funky function that could be x squared, could be 1 plus sine x, whatever, I'm just going to use a straight line. Because look at, look at this equation. Look at this equation. This is a straight line because this is a constant. That's a constant. That's a constant and that's an x. So here's a straight line, compare that to x squared, or say even x to the fourth. Are you guys, you don't understand. Because this equation that we have here, this guy, comes from the linear approximation, from the straight line approximation. I'll show you why it comes from the straight line approximation, okay? 
Which other way? Whenever it's asking you to compare the two. Yeah, so I guess we are doing this kind of thing. This problem is asking you to do two things. It's trying to teach you that the approximation is pretty good to the original thing. And how do you do that? Well, you do it by using the linear approximation, compare it to the actual thing, and if the two are close, wow, you've got it. Tomorrow we're going to do an example where we're going to do an error analysis. We're not going to compare to what it really is. But can I actually make an estimate in an error that I'm making if I make some error in a measurement? So we'll see that tomorrow, where we will not use delta y. Okay? So let me explain to you why. Yeah, can I finish this explanation and then you can ask me. I want to explain this thing to you. Okay? So remember what we have. We've got a straight line, okay, that we are using as an approximation. Right? The slope of this line can be obtained by dy over dx. Right? And you know that the slope, since this is a tangent line, the slope is also given by f prime of x. So isn't the slope equal to dy by dx? Hence this equation. Right? Hence that equation. Cross multiply. Can you get that? So it comes from the straight line, doesn't it? So that's what I'm saying. That's why we started out with the straight line approximation. Uh -huh. Yeah, well, do some examples and you'll probably get a better feel for what we're doing. Do some homework examples. Yeah, you'll get better. Yeah, Jay. Well, that's an example, right? I'm using fx as an example. fx is x squared. It could be anything. It doesn't what? Yeah, it does, because your answer is going to be different on what, whether it's x squared or whether it's x to the fourth plus 3x squared. Do it. Do some examples and you'll see. Yeah, do some homework examples. Yeah, do some homework examples now. <laughs>